can we all ignore my friend George here and his best friend Felipe because they've been here for like a week now and they refuse to leave my face. So just say hello. We all love them, okay? I still want them to leave, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Welcome to another reading vlog. I know I totally said that I wasn't going to do a reading vlog until my week off of camp full-time work, but I uh, don't really have anything to do this week because I have been working full-time, as you guys know, and then after my full-time work, I would go over to this kid's house that I was tutoring, but his classes ended today. So therefore, no more tutoring, which means I have time to actually read now. So we're going to try out the reading vlog, how much reading is going to get done. We don't know because maybe I'll be too tired and end up just going to sleep because that's usually what happens when I'm not tutoring. But we're going to try. If we end up failing halfway through the week, I will just not upload and you'll never know. But if you're seeing this video, then we were successful. I finished my book last night, so I'm starting a new one and it's Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, which is the third book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I read number two like first week of July and then I read the first one like three years ago and just never picked up the rest so I'm finally getting to it but I'm only like 68 pages in so I could not tell you if I'm actually like loving it or not but so far it's enjoyable so I mean there's that. I really liked the first and second book so I'm thinking I'll probably like the third book but I guess we'll see. Then I also started Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover but I'm literally on page one so I have no thoughts or feelings on it yet. I just put the bookmark in the book. I don't really have any plans for tonight other than reading and then I have to make cookies for my work meeting tomorrow because it's like a potluck thing but the stove is also broken right now so how well that's gonna work we don't know daddy has to fix the stove but daddy's not coming home until 6 30 and then we have to have dinner so who knows if the stove's even gonna get fixed but hopefully because i gotta make cookies what are you doing i don't know what you oh baking I, are we vlogging again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Say hello. Hello. I said I was going to make cookies, so what did mom do? Started making my cookies. I helped. Such a nice mom. I, I helped. <laughs> I love you. What kind of cookies are we making? Oatmeal chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we'll kill Nick if we put nuts in it. Batter is complete. Make the face. <laughs> so much bigger than mine. I know. They're gonna like mine better than yours. Probably. <laughs> oh, baby. Welcome to day two. Cover our logo. I'm going to work. What are you doing today? I'm gonna make pillowcases. In my head, I'm gonna clean the bathroom floor. Which is not gonna happen. Yeah, I have to work till six. But it's a potluck at our meeting today, so your girl ain't mad about it. But today we have to go golfing with the little children, but it's supposed to rain. I don't even know how to golf, so this is gonna be interesting. You've never hit a golf club I've never, today. I've mini putted. I thought, I thought you went to a driving range once. No, I've mini putted, that's it. Yeah, we didn't do that often because of- Curtis of can't the, do a competition. Little, a little too competitive and um, it's not pretty. He gets very angry. We also can't play Monopoly. Oh, that, who's that for? I won't play Monopoly. Curtis. Oh, see, I wouldn't play that to begin we with. We can't play any board games with Curtis. No, it was Snakes and Ladders. It wasn't Snakes. Monopoly. We can't play Snakes and Ladders. Probably could now, now that he's 23. So I totally planned on reading tonight, but then I got a text from the kid that I'm tutoring's mom, and she was like, please come help him because his exam is tomorrow. So I'm going to go over to their house now and go tutor for like an hour or two. I never know how long I'm going to be there, so I guess we'll see. If I'm home by before 9, then maybe I'll get some reading done. It's now 9.20 on Tuesday night. I got home around 8. I just finished working out, which is why, you know, I look a little like a tomato head. But on the bright side, since I started working out again after I, like, messed up my foot, I've been working out for, like, a week and a bit. But I've lost 5 pounds, so <laughs> your girl is very happy about that. I work as a camp counselor. <laughs> And these kids are vicious. Like, this one kid came up to me and he like grabs my stomach and he goes, you have an angry tummy and like jiggled it. And I was just like, 
Okay, thank you. You really know how to make a girl feel good about herself. And then the next week after that, a kid came up to me and he goes, did you know that you had a double chin? And I was just like, yes, I did. Thank you for pointing that out again. I've been like feeling super like self-conscious. So I was like, your girl gonna start working out. But your girl has lost five pounds and I'm feeling good. We're gonna be a skinny legend soon, you know? We, we get in there, we get in there. We're not getting there, but we're trying, okay? We're gonna keep working out and hopefully we don't weigh a million pounds anymore. We'll see how it goes as, you know, life progresses. I figured I'd update you guys on what I'm reading right now. So last night, Ricardo popped over for a little bit because I haven't seen him in like four days or something like that. So he was like, yo, I'm coming over. And I was like, okay, fine. Before he got here, I got about 65 pages into Maybe Someday. And I'm actually really liking it. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did. It's actually like, pretty cute so far which like you wouldn't think it would be because it's like a story based off of cheating the main like love interest guy ridge is adorable like i'm just gonna say it i love him so far like he may turn out to be a total asshole which i'm thinking is what's gonna happen because he has a girlfriend but like he he seems interested in Sydney, who's the main girl character, and like, that's not good. Cheating is bad, people, so like, don't do it. And then the other book that I read a little bit of last night was Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, and I got like 165 pages-ish into it, and I'm really liking it. I don't know why it took so long to read this book. It's real good so far, but like, as I said before, it's 600 pages. Probably won't finish it this week, but... I don't really have anything to do for tomorrow because Ricardo's going to his cottage, so I'm literally gonna come home and probably read. And then Thursday, again, I don't have a social life, so probably just gonna read unless I do something with my mom. But yeah, I'm gonna go read a baby someday and I'll update you guys tomorrow because I'm not gonna update you again because your girl is lazy and also my phone is gonna die, so what? I got bumped in the head today at work, so I get a pretty sticker so everybody knows to watch me in case I have a concussion. How do you feel about this, Mom? <laughs> no, no comment? I've already had six concussions, so this can be my seventh. I hit twice, so I should technically have two stickers. I'm bitter that I don't, because I had to wear it all Did day. You Did they actually make you wear it all day? Yeah, all day, and um, my supervisor was like, you can't take it off, and I was like, I really Seriously. didn't get hit that hard. And she's like, nope, you need to keep it on so people know. And then I got hit in the head again. And she was like, see, this is why. And I was so like, where's my second sticker then? I come and pick you up and I just laugh. Yeah, they're like, Jay got hit in the head really? today. And she's like, okay, it's fine. Really, again? Like, I could be dead right now. You could be dead right now. But mommy brought me coffee because she's a nice seed. A nice seed? Yeah, the apple of my eye. Okay, a seed? I don't know, that's what came out of my mouth. Leave me alone, okay? We're gonna go get lasagna for dinner from Sarkis. <gasps> yes, that I know. That, that, pizza that, bun. That's why I thought you'd wanna come with me. Early three minutes away from being stuck outside in this. I want it to lightning. Go, lightning. Did you hear the thunder? Yeah, but I wanna see. You could've died, mama. Could've died. You're too short. Look, mom got a haircut. Mom Tell her haircut. that she looks gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Oh dear. How do you feel about this weather? Glad I'm not out there. <laughs> Look at how fast it's coming off that east trough over there. Across the road? Oh, yeah. On the roof, see it? See it. Oh. Say the garage? Oh, there's your lightning. Look, zoom in. Look at all that rain. So much rain. Zoom out. Look at me being a videographer. Started, the hail started. Uh, ah! I don't think he's ah! playing football. Why not? I think Daddy should play football. We see how many fouls. That's a gross salt. Look at it bouncing off the top. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. this You're so happy. <laughs> They've decided that they're going to go run outside in the hail because we're adults here. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not even happening. It's done. Boo. Boo. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. We are on our way to... That's your cue. I just want you to be part of my vlogs and everybody's like, where's your mom? We love your mom. And this is what I get for trying Nobody to include you. We're gonna try that again, young lady. Where are we going? Try to sound a little 
little bit more excited. <laughs> now, why are we going there? Is this like a celebration? For what? Is it a good thing, a bad thing? What's going on? Um, Because you're tired? We, I got spat on today, so oh, that's a fun Do fact. Invitation. Yeah, so at work today, we have kids who have special needs, and one of my kids decides that he's going to spit on me, so... He comes up to me with his hand up, so I was like, oh, cool, high five, awesome. So I put my hand up, and he grabs my wrist and goes, <laughs> and I was like, okay, great. And then he goes, <laughs> and then fully just spits on my hand, and there's just bubbly spit all over me, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'm great, I'm gonna go wash my hands. And this kid just looks at me and goes, <laughs> I was like, okay. And all the other counselors are trying not to laugh and like we're trying to be like you can't spit on people But we're all laughing. So it's like not being taken seriously. So I deserve this yogurt. Okay. I deserve <laughs> oh, it did you get told off? Oh, I got in trouble because one of my kids ate a piece of couch They are 12 to 15 years old <laughs> and this is please. not the inclusion kids. This is like a kid <laughs> who just decided that he was gonna eat a piece of couch. Why? I don't know. His friend told him it was a piece of bread, so he thought he was gonna eat. Yep, so he ate a piece of couch and I got in trouble because uh, I was not watching him and I was like, there was another counselor literally sitting right beside him and said, don't eat that. It's not bread. And he ate it. But apparently it's my fault. We're fine. It's fine. Yep, so I deserve this. Mine is raspberry chocolate with raspberry, dark raspberry chocolate truffles and yogurt chips. Mine is vomit. <laughs> Mine is salted caramel vegan. Eh, Julia, eh, vegan. Yes. Ice cream with cookie dough and sprinkles and coconut shavings and peanut butter sauce and peanut butter. Reese's pieces? Chips mm -hmm. and Reese's pieces. Gross. Delicious. You're gross. It looks like vomit. Hello. Me? Yes. We're having McDonald's. Mm. Yummy, yummy. We I totally just realized that I haven't actually updated you guys on my reading since Tuesday. And you know, this is a reading vlog, so I should probably do that. I am about 250 pages into Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. And like, I can't really talk about it that much because it is the third book in a trilogy. So if I talk about what's happening, then that gives spoilers for like previous parts of the book and series. So just know that it's really, really good. And then for maybe someday, I'm about a hundred pages in and I'm loving it. I think it's like super cute. Update for like my life, I guess. I'm going to Ricardo's cottage this weekend. So reading will probably be pretty iffy and I don't know if I'm going to film anything because I don't know how his family feels about being on camera but it's like his entire family's going so we'll see maybe I'll just film with Ricardo I don't know what's happening we're like celebrating his dad's birthday and his aunt's birthday and his parents anniversary reading may be done reading may not be done I guess we'll see as it progresses you guys staring at us say hello hello so very nice and doggo today hey oh he's fine hey He's okay now? He's not gonna die? <laughs> not gonna die. No, because they said before now and he got his dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <It's a good laughs> We're just kidding <laughs> around with this. Hi. You're beautiful. I'm beautiful. It's not. Wait, show off all your tattoos. Oh yeah, I got. Take the L. <laughs> <laughs> By me! I have tattoos. Wait. I'm gonna write something else. It says ha. Do I lose her again? I told you. She's right I just really like the mustache. I think it's a good look on you. Thank you. I have to make fun of him for a You gotta have blackmail, you know. Come on, Ricardo. Come on, Ricardo. That's good. Uh, tell me when you're ready. <laughs> Do it. Somebody draw a mustache on him. The lid look how red he's getting. Carl's turning red. Tell me when you're ready. Ain't the sun. <laughs> I can't go any harder than that. <laughs> he's drinking beer. He's still fucking... He's turning red. What the <laughs> hell? You hold it back. Are you ready? Stop waiting. Go. He's go. ready. <laughs> he's ready. Go. <laughs> it's just like on fire. It's fine though. I'm pretty sure that popcorn. <laughs>
mom's making my TBR for the month of August. What's your system this You're not time? Not telling me. You gotta figure it out. I'll never figure it you out. Your figure, brain doesn't make so sense. Easy. She's decided that every month she's going to pick my TBR. So this is this month. But she always has some weird way to pick it. She's going in between like two of my room. I don't like the fact that you're filming me in my jammies. Nobody's looking. No, everybody's going to be looking. You're so concentrated. I am. <laughs> you must find it. I have done nothing reading wise today. I did grocery shopping with my mom earlier. My mom ended up picking my August TBR because that's what she does now. She says that she's going to pick my TBR every single month for the rest of the year. So this time she has a new system where she basically spelled out August with book titles. Stay tuned for that on my channel once I edit it. I also filmed my July wrap up because your girl ain't gonna read anything else. Because your girl apparently is not in the mood to read for this entire month because she only read you know, six books this month where I read 28 last month. We went down a little bit, but I have been working full time and I get home and I'm exhausted. I'm also exhausted today because I got home from the cottage at like 12.30 yesterday. And then I woke up at eight today and I'm just still really tired. So I maybe I'll go listen to an audiobook and hope that I don't fall asleep because your girl just doesn't want to hold a book right now. So I did read a little bit at the cottage. I got to pay 150 of maybe someday, which I'm still really enjoying. It's really good. I might actually read more of that if I can figure out a way to not have to hold the book because I'm actually really liking the story and I want to see where it progresses. I personally want Ridge and Sydney to get together and Ridge to break up with Maggie. Apparently he's with her for like a special reason so we're gonna see what that is hopefully soon and then I hope that they break up and Sydney and Ridge can be together. I also really like Warren who is Ridge's best friend. He's really funny. Hoping he ends up with somebody too and he's a happy little camper because he deserves it okay. I'm gonna end this vlog now because I still have to edit this entire thing and have it up for tomorrow morning so I will see you guys in my next video. Maybe there'll be a reading vlog next week. Let me know. I mean, it's the booktube -thon, but I feel like I'm probably not going to get any reading done. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!